Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Arnel. And for today's video, we will solve problem number three. If you're new here in my channel, please consider to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you would be updated with my upcoming videos. Okay? Problem number three, the requirement is what total amount of current asset, assets should be reported on December 31, 2020. So the requirement is we need to present the correct current assets. Okay? ABM company provided the following data on December 31, 2020. Uh, cash of 575 but cash have a uh, details or the, the problem give you further details and cash in composing of cash in general checking account of 400 so um, since it's a general uh, checking account in the, uh, the purpose is for normal operating uh, uh, normal operating activities of the uh, business so you will need to consider this as current assets okay cash in fund to be used to retire in bonds in 2020 meaning the cash for uh, in this purpose is allocated for long-term uh, maturing liabilities or uh, long-term bonds payable in that case we cannot consider this as a current assets but rather this is non-current assets okay but the, because the purpose or the uh, uh, restriction of this cash is intended after two years so we cannot consider this as a current assets the other one is cash held to pay value added tax and this is considered as current because tax is uh, due on a very short term period of time so this is a uh, uh, short term liability of every company okay the, the other one is financial assets at fair value so, if the problem is silent, it is counted as current assets because it is, uh, example is marketable securities. That is one of the example. However, the problem give you including long-term investment of 500,000 in ordinary shares of XYZ company. The word long-term investment is a key for you to decide to remove uh, 500,000 from 2 million. This is a long-term investment, and long-term investment will be considered as non-current assets. Okay, so next is inventories uh, of one million. Uh, if, same with the financial assets. If the problem is silent, all inventories should be considered as current assets. However, the problem says including goods received on consignment of 300,000 meaning if uh, you receive if you are the business owner and if you receive goods per, per consignor uh, for consignment the owner of or the consignor will be retained as the owner of your goods of the goods until it is sold and you as you act only as consignee and since that the ownership is is uh, retained with the consignor, you have to remove in your inventory. Of course, they have a, a commission basis. Once you sold the product, you have to get some commission. That is the uh, uh, setup of consignment. Okay. The other one is uh, prepaid expenses of three hundred thousand. Same with the uh, inventories in financial assets. Prepaid inventories are considered as non, uh, as current assets. However, it says including a deposit of fifty thousand made in on, on inventories to be delivered in sixteen months. So the problem is indicating of sixteen months. This is more than one year, and prepaid expenses is considered as current asset only if it is consumable or it can be uh, used for business for up to twelve months only. So. Uh, in this case, we will consider this 50,000 as non-current assets. Okay, the next one is property plant equipment of 5 million, excluding 700,000 of equipment is still in use but fully depreciated. Remember, our requirement is current assets. You can uh, totally ignore this uh, uh, item, property plant and equipment. This is uh, uh, not to be considered as current assets. 
and the other one is trademark of 500,000. Trademark is a intangible assets and it has a separate item or a separate account in our balance sheet or statement of financial statement so we should remove automatic in this case let's solve the problem okay the first item should be cash the uh, problem give you 575,000 cash and we have to remove only the cash fund to be useful for uh, uh, long-term bonds payable of 100,000 so you have to report uh, cash under current assets of 475,000. You might ask what is uh, how to record now the 100,000 in balance sheet. You just record this as non-current assets. Okay. So we have financial statements. Ah, uh, sorry. We have financial uh, assets. How much is this? Uh, Two million. And there's a note here that the uh, uh, long-term investment of XYZ company, we have to remove 500,000 and we will get uh, uh, 1,500,000. The next is we have inventories. In inventories, um, you have 1 million but you have consignment of 300,000 we have to remove from your inventory but because uh, the problem says it including in the one in 1 million so we have to remove and we will get 700,000 okay and then we have prepaid expense of how much uh, 300,000 but uh, we have to remove the 50,000 which is deposit to cost to, uh, toward the uh, uh, inventory to be delivered on 16 months uh, after 16 months so we have to record 250 here okay now uh, if you total this and then 250 and then we will get 2,925,000 double rule this is the final answer because you put the double rule so this is very important as total current assets So on December 31, 2020, you have to report uh, total current assets of 2,925,000. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, for problem number four, I give you, uh, I will give you again the problem number four and try to solve in your uh, own. And for the next video, we will solve together. Okay, if you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe now. Bye-bye.